Hello everyone, this is Rick Morgan. I wanted to talk a little bit today about cleaning with a mask. Cleaning while well, light photo bleaching with a mask. I've done several videos on this before, but this is one of my favorite books of all time. It's a great story. It's written by Stan Lee, John, drawn by John Romita Sr. Uh, you're getting, I bet some of you already know what this book is. This book has a lot of red on the cover, which makes it sensitive to photo bleaching. So if I were to put uh, expose it to too much light, it would it would fade, and that's something I do not want to have happen to this book. It's one of my favorite favorites of all time, and I think some of you already guessed what this book is. It's also the first appearance of the Kingpin of Crime, and it is you guessed it, Amazing Spider-Man number fifty. This is my copy, and it did. I didn't even clean the back at all. This is how good this book already looks. So it didn't need a lot, right? And you can. This is after, so it's hard to this discern, but. I didn't want to expose these reds to this, and it's um, it's a beautiful, beautiful book. Obviously, I don't want to harm the thing, and it's sensitive to photo bleaching and peroxide use. So, the idea is to use a mask to expose only the white areas, and to limit the amount of photo bleaching, and just nudge them a little wider. I don't want it so white that you look at this book and say, "Damn, those letters are white." I just want it to look a little better than it did, and then call it quits because it's otherwise it's a beautiful book. And uh, here, here's how I do it. I, I hope you enjoy the video. Here's the book. It's Amazing Spider-Man number 50. It has a few spine ticks I'll get out later, but you can see it's just a little bit, not quite as wide as I'd like it to be. And so I drew in Adobe Illustrator the white letters for this book, and I exposing them to just light. I didn't use any peroxide in this particular book, just exposing it to light for just about an hour, and then we'll, we will see what happens if they're a little bit lighter or not a little bit lighter. Here's the book with the mask in place in the light box. I'm not using any peroxide. I'm going to just tape it down. You can see how yellow the letters look. Before, much yellower than you'd think, right? I taped it down so that it doesn't, if it gets hot, it doesn't peel up from the book and expose the sides. Turning on my 435 nanometer purple LED box. Not UV and not blue, so it's purple. And you can see, I'm gonna expose here for one hour. We're gonna go 60 minutes exactly, and we'll come back. Here we are one hour later. Let's open it up and have a look. Turn this off, open it up, and it doesn't look a lot wider. But it is a little bit. It doesn't come through in these photos very well, but I will go ahead and show you some before and after photos. So here's the after video. It's, you know, it needs to be pressed, but it looks, I don't know, it's hard to tell. It still looks a little bit dingy. You can tell it's still kind of yellowish, but that's the idea, right? You don't want to know it's been uh, cleaned if you can help it. You know, this is just for myself. I'm not ever going to send this in, but the back looks pretty clean too. There's a few spots there on that plastic, they're not on the book. But otherwise, you can see how nice it looks. I think it looks pretty good. And now on to the before and after photos. These are just the initial images of the front and the rear of the book. Here's an image of the mask. You'll notice that I didn't cover the greens. I'm not that concerned about it. I did actually trace out all of those letters, but decided not to laser cut them as it's more of a nuisance and they're very delicate and easy to break. But this is what the mask looks like and how it fits on the front cover of this book the upper left corner it's the initial is on the left and the final is on the right and the name of the game is subtlety I'll give you a second to look at it especially the pricing box there and see what you think it's a little but not a lot here's that upper right quadrant I think it's the same story we've been telling I'll take you like, take a look at initial on the left and final on the right you'll take a look here and see what you think should be subtle but noticeable Here's the bottom right quadrant, and I struggle to see any difference here at all. Honestly, it's not as noticeable, but the upper half, you can you can tell a lot more with the naked eye. Because upon viewing my own video, I suspect some of you are tempted to say to me, Rick, I think you're drinking your own Kool-Aid. There's no color difference there. I'm blowing up just a random section of it so you can see a little better that it is whiter and just subtle. Um, and if you don't understand the reference to the Kool-Aid, it's Jim Jones in Guyana, 1978, uh, encouraged or at gunpoint forced a lot of his parishioners to drink poison, not Kool-Aid, it's actually Flavor-Aid. 
and commit suicide and he recorded the entire thing uh, and then he killed a bunch of uh, FBI agents um, they were coming to rescue people there it was kind of a crazy scene but anyway uh, back to back to the task here you can see the difference and I so I hope I encourage you for those of you who are more sensitive to the older books especially with the reds and yellows to consider some subtle cleaning and of course you can do subtle cleaning more than once you can learn how this particular book responds take a beat go back do it again and you can make subtle changes to make a book look better without it being overly done and, and it's very very subtle and not noticeable at all but still more pleasing to the eye you'll have better curb appeal for the book on your wall and i, I hope you enjoyed this video uh, take care see you later bye bye